Hello and welcome to Tales Across Time and Space. I'm Thomas, your Game Master, and I'm joined by Jane ESP. Hey, it's me, Jane ESP, and I'm playing Cutie Carbuncle the Join. Join? Join? I'm sorry, the, the Janus. Roll one. Roll one. Roll one. I was like, oh, pretty. I was like, oh, man. And then I flipped. I was like, that is a very different, um... Is is the joint? Yeah, that is a playbook. Play that's the playbook that yeah. lets you play yeah, I know. a oh, basically my... a double of another playbook. Yeah, if I kept with uh, Witchy Blackbird, I would probably be a joint. Yeah. Or surprise! Now my sister is now also a character, so uh, I'm totally anyway. swapping to the joint. Anyways, uh, <laughs> Crystal and Kitsune. Hi, I'm Crystal and Kitsune, and I am playing Artemis, the Protégé. What? You're, you're watching the stream on your phone here. Accidentally. Um, anyways, uh, Zeistan. Hello, I am Zeistan, and I am playing Blackbird the Doomed. Radical Dishonesty. Hey, I'm Radical Dishonesty, and I'm playing, uh, Regalia the Outsider. My brain auto-completed Soul Hoy there, too, so don't worry about that. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> like, it, it's not just you, so. And lastly, Mistral. Hi, I'm Mistral, and I'm playing Inferno the Transformed. Uh, this week we will not, we do not have R.A. Wolf, as she is spending some holy time on her anniversary with her husband, so. We wish her well, and we won't try to do too horrible of things with her character. How dare she have a life outside of this? Oh, come on. Anyways, uh, as you may have guessed at this point, uh, we're playing Masks, a new generation, our Fate Breakers game. Um, but first, some uh, news. Uh, next, after, next week's session is going to be last session. Cause we're going to do for a bit because we have two weeks where we are where half, well, half the players tonight are going to be uh, uh, on a trip together, so we will not be streaming at all during those mm -hmm. weeks. So uh, three of us will be basically on starting in October. Will be a two uh, two week a, intermission. Yep. So just giving a heads up on that. We'll try to wrap up this arc, uh, this little thing before we go, so that we don't have anything t anything ongoing leaving a thing. I'm going to leave you guys with a cliffhanger because that's what you do. So you sell new uh, um, comics. Yes, that's cliffs. that's the word. New cliffs. All right. So, with that out of the way, last time, God, if I remember, I think you guys ended up. Uh, all of you guys ended up facing. You know, you you two were exploring together. Not a lot of details matter, right? Uh, every one of you ended up facing a mind whammy superhero. Uh, Artemis and Archangel had to deal with a crazed Forge. Inferno and uh, Kitty Carbuncle deal with a uh, a deranged Ember, which ultimately resulted in uh, Kitty Carbuncle revealing their secret identity to one younger sister. That's the important bit that happened there. Yes. And a rather pissy Apollo decided to just punch out uh, the uh, floating psionic in the sky and ended up getting his mind uh, whammied by that. And then, yeah. then, and then I believe Blackbird did a uh, demon Hadouken at the at, at Apollo aimed at Apollo, which also blasted the spear in the center, causing a wave to go out that switched everyone back onto depressive from manic. Mm -hmm. At the end of uh, Artemis, oh yes, that's the thing. Artemis and Archangel found a woman unaffected by the, the craziness hiding in a giant guitar. Uh, it seems pretty sure it got revealed that that is the the guy's mother. Yes. Was yes. Yep. And last, 
she, after she got pulled out by being stabbed on accident by Archangel's uh, little breakdown, uh, searchlights started kind of pinning in, and uh, Archangel managed to just in time get her back inside the guitar. But unfortunately for Archang uh, Archangel, uh, I can speak. Archangel, uh, the, the beams locked under her and tore her from this, well, from wherever she is to wherever she is now. Which brings us to Fate Breakers number 15. We open, kind of rewinding the clock. Uh, what we Artemis. Yes. What, what we, we Artemis. What? I said, what we Artemis. <laughs> That's what you said. I'm giving you shit. Yes, I noticed that. Uh, words. Uh, what were you doing while Archangel was kind of pulling out the mother to kind of look at her? To um, tend to her wounds. I think I'm um, I'm staying kind of on lookout, just seeing if anything else is showing up around here. Okay. What distracted you for a moment? Like, what what focused on your attention so you were focused away from where you are right now? Like a shadow. Okay. Did you did you what do you know what it is a shadow of? Like, did it, I don't know yet. Okay. Yeah, you saw this. You saw this like large shadow pass, kind of like swooping over some stuff, and uh, your attention was focused on that. You were ready for something big to come crashing through because that's the kind of day you've been having. Yeah, yeah, pretty um, much. But then suddenly you just you your senses. You know, you have acute senses. You're a god of the freaking hunt. You you notice things. Yes. You turn. Unfortunately, too late. As you suddenly you turn, as these beams of light shooting down from the. Uh, these, the central sphere uh, converge on Archangel, and suddenly she's gone. What do you do? Um, I imagine you're like first on top. Well, of the yeah, car. I'm. You know, like in a slight panic because uh, my best friend just like disappeared in like a bowl of light. Oh. Um. So I think the first thing I'm going to do is I'm jumping down from the lookout that I'm at and going to check out to see what was going on down there. See if there's anything, any sort of clues that were left. Yeah, there is. You don't see anything beyond, like, you see the entrance to the guitar, the cut uh, guitar strings that were blocking the entryway earlier. Yeah. And inside you see a hastily, uh, a, like, a, like it looks like she was just thrown there, uh, uh, the, the mother, and she who was still kind of clutching at a... A bleeding wound still. Mm -hmm. So, it uh, what you can immediately tell from that is it looks like whatever Archangel did, she, she threw her in here hastily before whatever happened. Yeah. Um, is her wound like wrapped at all? Nope. She was just um, pulling her out to take a look at it and treat it when this all happened. So I'm gonna kind of take a bit of my dress mm -hmm. and yeah. rip it. Mm -hmm. And yep. just kind of wrap it around her shoulder. Uh, where did where'd your, your friend go? I'm not exactly sure. As you say that, um, we kind of cut to kind of a, like a central panel with everyone's kind of reaction shots kind of cut into that. As you see the these, you, as the ground kind of shakes, and you kind of, everyone kind of looks up from wherever their disparate spots are as giant chunks of the arena start being pulled. Like, you see, like, a glow of energy as they're being pulled towards the central ball as it starts building a armored shell kind of thing around itself yeah. out of the various debris and everything in here. Well, that just happens. Yes. What's going on? I am bleeding. I was stabbed. I 
to being harassed by a mob inside of a giant guitar. Do I honestly look like I know what's going on? Alright. Let's take care of your wounds first. I imagine you're doing this while you were kind of tying it up. And then we'll figure this No! Because I remembered one more thing. She's a goddess of healing. Oh. Alright. But this could go horribly wrong because I think her healing ability is essentially the same as her ability of where it's like, occasionally it will heal, but usually it won't. So she's going to attempt. Which means I'm going to have to roll. I'm going to have to roll, roll something plus, good. Roll plus freak. I am. <laughs> Let's see. Unleash your powers. Roll plus two. Something got messed up. Okay. Supreme cosmic powers. Oh, let's see, what is it? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Uh, on a seven to nine, either marking condition or I will tell you how the effect is unstable or temporary. Um. What conditions I still have available? I am going to mark hopeless. Okay, you're kind of feeling like okay, you, you're fr you were you know you're kind of. I'm I'm putting I'm putting this on like one of the worst possible like either I could make her better or I could make her a thousand times. Actually, I'm not gonna mark hopeless. I'm gonna mark afraid. Okay. Because I'm kind of afraid of my own powers here. Mm -hmm. Because yeah, you feel like for a moment like they're just about to get rid of you, but you kind of clamp down on it for right now. Yeah, but... like I could, you know, like the idea that I could make this, I could make this better, or I could make it worse and make her sick or worse than sick. <laughs> nope, nope, legit. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you, you, you do, you, you kind of feel it get away from you, but you clamp down on it and manage to kind. Of Pull back and you. Mm -hmm. As the uh, wound kind of closes up with your uh, divine power. Yeah. Alright. Now tell me what is going on here. Cut to. Uh. Regalia and Blackbird, you have one. Uh, you have one despondent Apollo, and you just saw a bunch of lights converge on a spot, and then suddenly the giant ball in the sky became armored. What do you do right now? Well, looks like uh, that was the way we were supposed to go, and now it seems to be protected. Hmm, well, we couldn't go there either way. Wait, okay, okay, is, okay, actually, where's the orb? Is the orb in the center? Because we like were it, going you're to the, the side where we thought yeah, you Archangel were, was. Yeah, you, you were heading that way, and, th and this looks like the, this uh, convergence of light kind of happened. Uh, um, actually, no, you had, guys had arrived at the hole, it's just they're, they're a little further off. If you, look, if you look at this, you see a guitar embedded in the ground. That's weird. Where, where the light if, I remember, if I remember correctly, last session where we left off was you pulled out tinfoil. I was asking if there was tinfoil. Yes, right, right, was, yes. That was, we, could, we could move forward with that if we'd like, but for now we could figure out where we're going. <laughs> Look for it <laughs> along the way, maybe. So, I can say, uh, you know, Blackbird gave you the line about the way we... Right. Oh, okay, okay. Is it actually, like, where we're going? Where we're going is now armored, which was where we thought Archangel was? Well, it's the thing in the sky that's armored, not anything else. I mean, you guys don't know that Ar Archangel got uh, skied, but... No, we um, don't know that, but we were going to that direction. Yeah, because you arrive, um, basically, you arrive at the hole in the ground, Apollo threw a fit, 
and then you saw the lights come after he kind of came to spawn it a little bit later you saw the lights converge a little at the distance at a guitar that's embedded in the ground right, right. so that, that's just refreshing your memory on the context here right there's an it's an orb covering like the the source of all the power uh basically there there is a flying ball of psychic energy that the the feedbacks in the center of and now that suddenly there is a bunch of debris forming an armored shell around that orb. I'm like, oh great. Remember, remember just a few seconds ago where we uh, turned off his craziness. What? Pause. Pause. You just lost. Uh, just lost. You're the person you were talking Testing. to. Yep, he's back. Sorry, I, I'm back. Okay. Uh, you remember? Oh, that's not good. Um, do we want to leave? I look to I look to Apollo. Do we want to leave him here or drag him around? I'm not sure it's going to be quite as easy to uh, shut down the crazy mode next time. Yeah, I suggest we leave him for now. He is seems to be in a passive state. Uh, it's not like anything. Uh, uh, the chances of something being able to hurt him are pretty low. Let's go. <laughs> also, this is probably the first time you've seen him without a glow on. Hmm. That's that's how down he is right now. He's not even glowing. Yeah. So you kind of guys kind of head towards the meetup point. I want you guys to go to. Yes, yes. I'm trying to bring the game back together. Mm -hmm. Sure. Cut to the, the last group here. Inferno and Carbuncle. You have a revealed identity and a despondent ember. And all... Oh, that reminds me. And an Inferno well, feeling a lot of awkward right now, I bet. <laughs> because we're riding around the giant Swan boat that can fly. No, it's a golf I cart. Imagine... Right, I remember it was a golf cart. Oh yeah, it's a golf cart. Swan golf cart. <laughs> Thankfully, thank you for reminding me about that because that helps line up the timelines a little bit. When yeah, you guys see the lights converging on the direction you're heading, and the suddenly the ground shake as the as the ball in the center of the the world you're in. Uh, becomes now armored with uh, various pieces of concrete and stadium. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Uh, which 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 group? This is. This uh, is this Inferno. is the. Inferno and QD? Yep, this is Dante's Inferno here. Might be avoiding my sister's gaze a little bit, but I imagine like in the back seat, she's, she's just like staring with like. No, she's bouncing. Eyes. She's just she's doing that little yeah. bounce, like that little happy bounce that kids do. Now, this is more than the fact that she's met like one of the characters she idolizes. <laughs> this is, oh my god, my brother is the character I idolize. Yep. I have a brother and a sister now. A broster. <laughs> ah, glad you made the same portman too. I was thinking about and then forgot about. Much better than a sither. <laughs> but yes. So awkward silence. There is silence at the moment. The thing I want to talk with my sister about, I probably should wait till the woman I, I, I just, realize is now an enemy and hostile is out of range. Yeah. No, no, I just wanted to make, clarify, if there, because I, I mentioned what, you just saw that happening. The, yeah. The, the armoring up and then the beams of light, the, the, sorry, reverse that, the beams of light converging and then suddenly the thing armoring up. Well, I know we saw like the clash in the sky. I believe it was de between Blackbird and Apollo. Yeah, yeah, that gave you your heading. Oh, that's the direction we were heading. Yeah, but I'm just wondering if you had any reaction to the 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 event that just happened. 
That's all. Because you can see that as well. You could feel it. it. It felt like a small earthquake. I'm hearing this. I, I will look back at my sister to see if she's okay and if overall, but for the most part, I'm trying to be professional okay. here. And the fact that now I'm in superhero mode, and thus I don't want to confirm with especially with someone who may be a villain in my backseat. She's just like, wow. That's big. Can you do that? Yeah, in super lifestyle, we get to see all sorts of explosions. Well, I'm oh, sorry. I'm going to set a moment. Well, in the superhero life, we often get to see stuff like that. Not always a good thing, though. Yep, yeah, so, but yeah, basically you guys are still on the course, so... Anyways, cut back over to Artemis. Yes. She said it's like you kind of like as you, you kind of cut off when you said. So what do you? Want? I don't know. All right. Suddenly everything went crazy, and now I was hiding in a guitar. Okay. Well, just rewind. Just tell me everything from when you showed up here. As in when everything went, after everything went bizarre? Before it went bizarre. We had arrived on the tour bus. He went through his usual pre-show routine. He went on stage. I was watching from the backstage, you know. Making sure everything was going right, and then suddenly everything went wrong. And you said he doesn't have any powers? No. Nope. I've tested several times. Test for this stuff? <laughs> I mean, to be fair, in like the superhero world, there's probably some level to test. Like, to be fair, they're also probably not 100 percent accurate. Like they're obviously as you can during stress, do they do superpowers? No? Okay, they probably don't have any. <laughs> I mean, they could probably test for, I like... I that the level of My Hero Academia, like, 90% of the population is powered, but... Yeah, well, I mean, it, it would make sense there would be some kind of test. Like, usually they kind of stuff like genetic-based powers and stuff that is that has a strong energy signature, but, like, some similar things could probably get evade detection. Like, that's fair. Yeah. This is but it, pro it probably also, like, requires you to be flagged in some way. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, not everybody gets the tests. Well, I, 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 my mental thing in this case is she's the kind of person who would, of course, test to see if, if her, the kind of same kind of parent who would test to see if their kids were gifted in other ways. Yeah. yeah. Because mm. they think their kids are gifted in every possible way. But yeah, so. But yeah, so, I, ha I had him tested several times. All right, if you're sure. This is that the if fine if you're sure is what uh, both Regalia and Blackbird here coming across this guitar as you see Artemis standing in front of the guitar with broken strings. Mm -hmm. Did you guys hear me? Yeah. Yes. 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 Okay. Uh, it's good to see you're still here. I could yeah. have sworn I saw Archangel's uh, effects here. Yeah. Have you seen her? She kind of just disappeared. Wait. Where the hell is my brother? <laughs> Um, he got uh, mind whammied, and uh, we sort of uh, decided it was best to leave him somewhere safe. Where did you put him? I so far, who is who? Are, who is? 
Was he kept in the pocket dimension? <laughs> Oh. We, we didn't put we didn't there. put him anywhere. We we left him over there. I kind of figured that anything else would have a very hard time beating him up. And I didn't want to be around him when everyone went uh angry again. I am going to end whatever it is that is doing this. No one touches my brother. I just like to think at this moment, uh, Regalia kind of takes a, like, a small side eye glance to, uh, Blackbird. And just... He has, he has a, he has a, he has a different, he has a different emotional reaction to this, but okay. Oh, no, that, that's my, like, this is just me picturing something, but you, say what you do, say what you do. I, I mean, he's still in simmering, uh, mode, so he kind of just has this look of, like, oh, hmm. But he doesn't say anything still, so okay. we'll see. Well, first thing we need to do is figure out how to get through that uh, plane. The, that's my guess of where the source is. Cutie, what sound does the, the what what music what what sound does the horn make on that golf cart? <laughs> well, obviously, since I tried to make it a swan shape. It, it lets out a La Cucaracha in Schwann noise. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> That's what oh, you God. hear as you see a golf cart with swan wings mounting over a coming across a hill, and in the front, who's driving the golf cart? Uh, I imagined it was me and okay, the unconscious okay. Ember in the front, and Inferno and my sister in the back. As your sister has climbed over your shoulder, and is pressing the horn. Oh, no. That, that makes complete sense. I'm okay. Yeah. Oh, good. More civilians. I don't know if they're all civilians. Well, I mean... Because one civilian, yeah. at least. Hugh uh, Carbuncle is apparently always a civilian. <laughs> And Cutie will pick up her sister and put her on her shoulders as like a piggyback thing. Yeah, I imagine you just kind of, kind of stop and come out. Everyone's uh, together. Woo! Hey, we're all together again. And you leave a team and then they all come together. Yep. Well, I'm sure that it'll be mercifully short. Let's go. Uh, what what is happening? Has anybody discovered anything else? Yeah. What happened to my sister? What happened? To <laughs> she disappeared. She did what? Hey, this isn't my fault, Fireboy. Really? Why do you automatically blame me? Really? I mean, come on. Instead of fighting amongst ourselves, I'm tired of doing that today. Why don't we actually figure out a way to get to where we need to? Exactly. Uh, well, Nicole, what? who knows at all what's going on here? I kind of just sent it up here. Me and Inferno had to fight that girl over there. I point at the unconscious Ember. And well, the How does Blackbird that? feel? Uh, oh, Blackbird noticed an Ember? Uh, yeah. Ah, uh, ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> True. Oh. Hey, I know her. You know her. This will actually raise an eyebrow from Cutie. She's like, really? Yeah. She showed up on that night that I uh, teleported uh, Fireboy over here. Shut you your mouth, shitbird. <laughs> okay. I, I doubt she's... Okay, pause. Because this that triggered a move here. I feel like that, that one... Inferno is trying to provoke Blackbird. Oh. Because... Yeah. I, feel, like, I feel like this is like... You know, call me off if I'm wrong, but I feel like... 
with what Inferno right now knows, with several complicated layers added on this, you probably don't want... The... He's trying to keep Blackbird from continuing to act because he does not want Blackbird... Yeah, 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 to, yeah, 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 to say what actually happened and hint at what happened when she is Cutie's girlfriend. Yes. So get, go ahead and roll plus superior as, as this is one of those situations. Uh, seven. All right. On a seven to nine against a PC, you can either choose carrot or stick. If they do it, add a team to the pool. If they don't do it, they mark a condition. Based on the last time we did this, I feel like the stick is more effective on Blackbird than a carrot. <laughs> <laughs> and it might also be contextually more... Uh... Like appropriate, mm -hmm. it's kind of a I will I will hurt you if you continue. Less of a, uh, you know, please do this. It'd be nice. So, does Blackbird shut up? Uh, yeah. So I think he's um more just annoyed that. Uh, Fucking um, Inferno is like still acting like Inferno. Hey, we got uh, what could we say? Inferno's a hothead. Does Cutie this is Alex question? I'm not saying this in character. Does Cutie question what just happened there at all, or is Cutie too busy dealing with the sister thing? I I'm trying to deal with the sister thing at the moment a little bit. So okay, but yes, Cutie was trying to question it all. Like, I might want to. Ask later, but I don't think she's relevant at all to all of this. She points at this crazy dimensional thing. Yeah, I, I I picture like like you know it's, it's uh, like there's just a panel of like Kitty like just the thought the thought box is showing up, and you just kind of look up at this all of this, and you just get a big you know a thought look a panel of her kind of glancing back up at the at the ball just as a little bit of it opens and a beam shoots down. Uh, Causing like a little shockwave, like a force, as it lands a little bit distance away from you. As the light fades from the beam, you see the a the form of Archangel lying there on the ground. Oh, great. I, I imagine noticing this light. I don't know. Have they opened their eyes and thus we can see their eyes? As they slowly push up and stand back up, they open their eyes. One eye is white. One eye is black. Hmm. Great. What does this mean now? Uh, Where is she? Angel? Are you stable? Where is she? Where is who? Need to find her. Starts staggering. Kind of starts uh, walking. Uh, Artemis, this is something you would know because you are probably the closest to uh, uh, Brain Park. Brain Park. Oh, Aspen. Aspen. Yes, that, thank you. Yeah. Uh, you're probably the closest to Aspen. Uh, the way she is moving doesn't it's not normal for her. Yeah. But she is just kind of there, like, looking around. Like, she is clearly looking for something. Mm -hmm. What do you do? Um. Also, the whole fact her eyes are glowing. I was going to say, do the eyes and the fact that I already dealt with, um, the forge. Yep. Um, I know that that obviously means, like, she's not going to be in her right head. Yep. So, and I'm not going to fight because I know that I don't, if I injure her body, I injure her body. <laughs> yeah, it's funny that the two characters probably... who could probably connect the most with Archangel 
ironically cannot touch Archangel, because one is poison skin and the other is made of fire. Well, I'll just make her <laughs> sick. But, yeah, I am kind of like a poison ivy-esque thing. <laughs> what do you do? Um... I... Oh... I don't know. <laughs> Alright. Oh, uh, I have stop. an idea. So, yeah. what is this? Okay. Okay, okay. Well, well, basically, let's say you're kind of like, you're frozen in place with indecision right now, because it's like, yeah. you you know she needs to be, you, you probably, she's probably not going to do anything good like this, but at the same time, yeah. you don't want to hurt your friend, kind of, that exactly. kind of struggle. So, what do you have in mind there, Blackbird? Uh, well, I was going to kind of uh, use a semi-demonic possession to kind of see what she he knows. By using like um my vision sight. Okay, cool. No, nope. oh, demon vision. Mark, mark your doom, and this just works. So ask me your question. Oh, uh, wait. Hey. Now, let me actually look at the uh, adult moves here for. Uh, no, 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 no. You have dark visions where you can just mark it, and I get you. You, 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 uh, you yeah. ask me a question. Uh, I guess. Hmm. And it could be anything. It doesn't have to be anything from a list or anything. You can just ask me one question, and I'll just say, I answer you truthfully, and I'll explain it in the form of the vision. Not a musical, though. Yeah, I think the question that I have is, uh, like, what happened to her, unless anyone has, like, a better one that would work. Yeah. yeah. I'd say that would be no, the that's, best that's one to work. Accurate. That seems fair. All right, so, yeah. All right. So, you, yeah, you kind of let your dark, the dark energy kind of goes through, and you kind of, like, as it kind of uh, basically kind of touches her mind, uh, you get a brief glimpse. You you you, know, you kind of try to see through her eyes and kind of through her her, her perception, except for you're not seeing what she should be seeing right now. You are seeing what looks like the interior of a glowing orb that is surrounded by uh, debris. Mm. And then. You feel a, then you feel something else, and th different, completely different than what you would be feeling. Um, uh, what you are feeling with, um, like it, it, this is like you, you, you know the power kind of thing that you're feeling from that point of view. Then something else comes in and just knocks you right back to yourself, like. Mm. like And you just hear echoing kind of in the back of your mind just a deranged laugh. So that's the kind of the vision that you experience there as she kind of just saunters looking for someone. Do you think do you think this is a what was the name of the act? Trivador? It's out of character in care. In what? Troubadour. No, 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 oh. no, no, I'm asking the other players. I remember Troubadour. Okay, sorry. Um, I got the, the I got name it. of the... Uh, actually, no, now that I think about it, it's, this is... Uh, what do you think the chances that this is more direct possession from uh, Troubadour? It could be. Could be. So who's yeah, Troubadour yeah. looking for? Cutie is taking advantage of her teammates holding off Archangel for a moment to quietly back up and make sure to put her sister as well as the unconscious Ember out of harm's way for a moment. Okay. So, you know, kind of hide them from sight, at least. Mm -hmm. At very least. Mm -hmm. If not, being able to maybe try to nudge them into a safe area in case this erupts in a fight. Alright, so uh, Archangel looks around and is like, he is near. I can't I can't see her. So suddenly a guitar manifests in her hand as well as the as a small nearly skyscraper sized amp. And it looks like she's about to strum and whatever that whatever force is gonna come out of that is not going to be good. What do you do? What way is the amp pointed? Is it pointed? It's omnidirectional. Direction? It's like she looks like she's about to just oh. like, clear everything out of the way. Is there something nearby that looks sturdy between
Is there? Sorry. I, I don't know if you cut out, but I was asking. I said, is, is there? there? something nearby that looks like a sturdy defense? Yeah, I, I heard you. I said, is there? I'm asking you. Oh. Oh, okay. You're, you're giving me that freedom. Um, I'm just trying to imagine what else can be nearby. You know what? Depending on where we are, what if there I don't know if the land got broken apart at all. I mean, but the, is there like one of the stages nearby that yeah. perhaps one of the performers yeah. might have been performing on? Yeah, the, there's a there's a, there's a stage because obviously there's more than just everything got shifted around, things got duplicated, and now giant pieces of it got ripped out. So yeah, there's the stage could very easily be nearby. All right. What I will do at very minute first is try to attack is try to see if I can guide the golf cart and my sister to cover real quick. Alright. Yeah. You're you're kinda of hiding cover. Anyone else doing anything in response to the sudden appearance of a, the mega amp? Uh yeah. attack the amp. <laughs> Alright, Inferno, roll to directly engage a threat. a threat, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yes. yeah. Plus danger? Yep, plus danger. Five. All right. Uh, as you kind of, as, as you kind of, how, how do you, how do you I launch told? yourself? Uh, I mean, Regalia has done enough to know that this is dangerous, right? Yeah, yeah. Regalia definitely knows that. So I think this is a good moment to spend team to help something like that. Well, you would need to spend two team. You need two different people to help to make that something better than a yes. Fail. We we would we would have to spend two team to do it. Hmm. Uh, how much team do we actually have all together? Uh, right five. All right. You guys oh, don't spend it that much. We're spending two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we're definitely, uh, while we do that, uh, Regalia is assisting. How would he assist with this? Well, well I mean. Inferno, describe what you're doing. Um, in, a, in, a, in a basically a large fireball cast towards it. Okay. Going all, uh, going Mario on it. Yes. So yeah, so uh, how does uh, Regalia help that? So and someone else besides Regalia, because each person can only spend one team. So we need you would need someone else to spend to spend to spend the other team to, to do this. I will. Yeah. I will. Oh, okay. Right now um, I'm focusing on keeping yep. the civil. Would team. would would just also attacking be aiding, or would it be like I, I, I feel like in this specific attack? I feel like this in this context it could be this because. Okay. 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 Um, Regalia. Did you hear me? Um, I said I would. You need two people. Too. Oh, okay. Two it people. sounded more like you did. Yeah. So you. Will, you yes, 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 yes. So I will be aiding, and you will be aiding. So what Regalia does is Regalia um looks very shortly to uh a uh, a chair, a a a stadium chair that mm -hmm. has been torn from its uh from its uh parts there, and immediately like extends his uh sleeves to wrap around it, and is like. Spins around, slinging it directly into the side of the. Uh, of the uh, that's a, that's a great. Thing. That's a great little maneuver. What is? Mm -hmm. What is Artemis doing? Um, I am now. What is it that we're fighting? Exactly? Basically, uh, Archangel Manifest uh, Mega Amp is about to strum a chord that will probably leave the whole area blasted. Um, I am going to shoot at the amp with my arrow. Okay. So, where are you aiming on the amp? Because. You were with uh, Archangel and Band. You know where to aim. Where is the spot that you would 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 know to that would just ruin an amp? Um, I think right in like the center, where basically you'd the go right through right where the wires would be. Okay. Basically, the play point where like you open it in in the inside. That's where the speakers are. The speakers mm -hmm. are going to be the most sensitive place. Okay. So, yeah. So yeah. So roll. Nope. Nope. You you're just spending the team to help. Okay. So, all right. In this case, the help is the team attack. Yep. Yeah. So, all right, Inferno, you, I brought you up to a seven. 
So you can choose one. You, you you trade blows, and you can choose one from the list. Take something from them. Create an opportunity for your allies. This or avoid their blows, or impress, surprise, or frighten the opposition. Mm. Probably resist. Okay. Yeah, so you just kind of. So between the heat and the severed connection and uh, the uh, uh, the high speed uh, cushion projectiles, uh, you manage to kind of cut off all the. all faces of the amp before it can go off. And it just kind of like. It kind of just like kind of. It kind of breaks apart as like uh, Archangel's. Uh, constructs tend to do, and she, like, kind of furrows her brow, and is like, you, you're, you're in league with her, aren't you? And suddenly, um, laser cannons start manifesting around, like, uh, four different cannons start to appear, um, Artemis, this is the same kind of thing that she used to blast her way to the surface. Yeah. So, um, these are not small cannons here. Yes. Uh, they start charging up and you suddenly, they stop. And her eyes are locked past you, Artemis, at the guitar, at the person standing in it. Mm -hmm. And the look switches from frustration to fear. I can't... No, 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 can't handle her. Not yet, not yet. No, 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 not safe, not safe. No, no, no. And a beam strikes down where she is, and suddenly Archangel is gone. Uh, the, the, is... the lady standing in the guitar looks around and, like, could someone care to exchange, explain to the grown up here? What the hell is going on here? Well, what seems uh, well, to be going on is she looked at you and ran in fear. So maybe you could tell us what's going on. I've never met her prior to today. Ah, uh, okay. Well, maybe th maybe this will help. We believe that that she was possessed by Troubadour at the time, so perhaps. My son, Troubadour's reaction to you. My son has no ab no special ability to possess anyone. He is a musician. Oh, Does that look well, he's like the one no at, ability, he's, woman. He's the one at the center of the the giant psychic orb in the center. And you, you mean think that, that giant... because he's a musician, he couldn't possibly have powers? We did the test. I would have loved it for. I, I would have been just as happy for him to be a successful hero of the city as I would have him as his successful music career. But the test came back negative. What is your relationship with your son? Perfectly Guys, normal. Guys, you shut up, please? <laughs> no. Thank you. I need to figure this out. I'm trying to explain things. Maybe if you let me <laughs> talk, I can help you figure things out. Okay. What do you know? Don't you remember our first mission together? Yeah. The masks. Uh-huh. The mask that gives superpowers? Yes. Oh, uh, the mask maker. Hmm. Uh, explain it. The mask maker the mask maker has an uh, has displayed an unusual amount of knowledge of the masks that they send out in the past, I think. Yeah. There's been some creepy things going on with it. Uh, so this is not beyond the... This is not beyond... Uh, the, I don't know. I, there's a word, but I don't remember it. 
So it was a beautiful, I'm gonna specific word. I, I, okay. I'm gonna you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna pull back the the curtain here. I'm gonna fold down the GM screen here and say like, that is totally not what I had in mind, but now it's canon. <laughs> it was a mask maker. Yeah, no, I, it was not. It was originally not intended, but you know what? I'll figure out the details of it, but we can. We'll, I'll run with that idea. Okay. I I I I'm like that because that lets me tie it better into the arc. So let's it let's just go with that. Better. Yeah. Good job, good job, good job <laughs> I, I just like ah! the, the, this, like the, I, you can probably look back on the stream here and just look at the look on my face of like, ooh. But I'm, I'm okay with with changing my plans because. Okay. So, I mean, I assume. I, I mean, before then, I assumed it was a. Well, the powers didn't manifest before. Yeah. It doesn't always work like that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, well, it could be complicated. It does fit very nicely. It does fit very nicely. Yeah. Um, Regardless, uh, you seem to have an effect on the person in control here. It looks to the mother. So, we can probably use you. Use me? Excuse me, I am the adult here. Question. And, uh, and I'm your... the demon possessed uh, <laughs> super powered one here. <laughs> okay, you're, you're provoking on that one. You are totally rolling provoke on that roll plus superior. What was your question? Why is he rolling? Uh, it's, it's an in character oh, question. Oh, Oh, can I go? Uh, he's rolling the dice. That's a okay. 10. Alright. On a 10, they rise to the bait and do what you want. So what reaction do you want from her right now? Uh, compliance. So she kind of, um... <laughs> with the, the, the not-so-veiled threat there, mm -hmm. she kind of uh, adjusts her, uh, her blouse and kind of, uh, with, and kind of straightens out her jacket and it's like, well, I feel. I see. I uh. All right, got it. This is a woman who will never admit defeat, even when she's admitting defeat. Mm -hmm. I see you have a certain level of insight into the situation. Therefore, I will follow your advice in the for the time being. All right. Thank you. Now that we got that out of the way. I, it's clear our obvious uh, objective is up there. He points to the uh, big metal sphere. And well, when uh, earlier when Apollo uh, rushed at it, he was uh, taken over by it. And right when uh... you, they took over my brother. Yes. I'm gonna kick its ass. <laughs> the bottom. So nice of you to be so protective. Now, I'm also gonna note for anyone who thinks this is like a sudden quick change to the fact that she seemed to hate him before. She still has that protective caring because when they were both human, they were very close. But, right, you know, there's. It's complicated, basically. There's a lot of complications. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. I, I okay. absolutely, I absolutely okay. do that. Like, in character, my character is more put out that you, who have seemed to abandon everything, is nice to a jerk. <laughs> but it's also family, so he's, you know. Yeah, it's family. Fine. So, yes, yeah. yes, it's family, and so that's a thing, right. So yeah. there's, there's I, I understood that. In okay. character, my character is, is, is starting to get fed up with things, but we'll see. Well, yeah, yeah. Took him over, but he did not know what he was getting into. Now we do. We can protect ourselves against that type of mind magic. And the bottom, you see, or like in the like not right above you, but a different part, a bottom thing of the sphere kind of cracks open, and another beam shoots downward. 
However, unlike before, this beam doesn't just shoot and dissipate. Instead, you just feel this, instead you see kind of this wave of energy uh, start swirling on. This is different than the previous pulses. And it kind of, as it kind of comes towards you guys, what do you do? Uh, this is the same kind of beam that took uh, Archangel, or uh... it looks very similar. This one, or like I said, the Archangel was just kind of a zoom and zoom. This is just a zoom, 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 zoom. technical terms there. Mm -hmm. But uh, but yes, it seems to be a constant thing, and a pulse is kind of coming out from where it has hit the outside of it. Does it look like a blasty kind of uh, beam? Or? It doesn't seem to be disturbing that. Uh, it doesn't seem to be disturbing any of the ground around you. It seems to be like another one of those uh, mind altering wave kind of things, like you've seen before. But this one is acting very differently. All right. Uh, Blackbird's going to uh, try to protect himself from uh, any kind of mind control and uh, try to uh, go into the center of it. Okay, um, it, uh, I guess I'm, I'm not describing this. It's basically like, think of this as like you're on the side of the globe and this is going straight down to the center. And basically it's like hitting the ground and it's spreading out circularly from that point. Oh, okay. So, so the wave is kind of spreading on all directions. So there really isn't a center to go through unless you're flying into the air towards the beam of light. Which, I mean... Uh, that was my plan. It's also a considerable distance away. I'm just oh, yeah, okay. So. Not not trying to poo poo on your thing. It's just like it's just one of the things that like just fictionally positioning. I just you, the wave would pass long before the okay. get anywhere close to it. So uh, all right then. Instead of that, um, the the kind of globe thing opens up when uh, it does that, right? Yep. All right. Blackbird would like to try to hold that portal open. It's still doing. Like I, this is like a sustained thing. It's not closing right now. Okay. You know, okay. The wave passes by you. Uh, the golf cart gets uh, the golf cart or wherever you at. You're familiar with shields. Uh, you, you know, actually, you're familiar with shields. Both uh, your sister and the uh, and Ember. As the wave kind of passes by everyone, uh, none of you guys are affected, including. Uh, no, I'm just gonna give her a name. She introduces herself finally. Her name is Miss. She's Mrs. Starlin. So I I can actually give her a name instead of just the mother. Mm -hmm. so. uh, none of you guys are affected, but a figure stands up behind you, and you see Forge just kind of start, sh for be lack of a better term, shambling towards the light in the distance. Uh, Great, he's back. He does. He seems to be completely ignoring you guys right now, though. Uh, just just curiosity if there's similar going on since I'm next, pretty close to her since I was trying to protect them. Is Ember also woken up from this? No, or... she was. She, your okay. familiar created the bubble that shielded both Ember and your sister. Good. Okay. Uh, note. Also, the other thing is Forge's eyes are also showing the. One white, one black. I was gonna say, are they still, still controlled? Yeah. They're they're showing the uh, no, they're not one white, they're one black. They're gray right now. They're going. So is he, like, partially out of control then, or it's what do you get when you mix black and white? Oh, okay. Right. And why did everyone else get the one black, one white? No, uh, I only person who has showed the one and one has been Archangel. Oh, okay, because she's, like, fully taken over. Yeah. Not just Everyone white. else has either shown pure white or pure black. This gray thing is a new thing. Oh, yeah, because, um... Because I think Apollo's is pure white. Every, when everyone's acting mean... When it, when it's, when it's, when he's chant, when they're in the manic state, they're white. When they're in the depressive state, it's black. Or vice versa, whatever. Okay. Okay. I, I know I'm... Um... So... Uh, the giant orb of mechanical stuff, is that uh, psychic powers, or is that, you know? Uh, Blackbird will explain what he saw in the vision with the... Hmm. 
it out. I think I have an idea how to crack that dome open. Additionally, you are starting to hear music coming from the direction of the glowing uh, light pillar, which is not, Ooh. it's still keeping going full blast. And it seems, as you kind of look over this, that you see various, like you see a lot of small little things kind of moving. It's like drawing all the people affected by it like moths to a flame. Oh, that seems bad. That seems bad. Yeah. That seems really bad. Like I say, you're hearing music. Mm -hmm. Very good music. Seriously, what kind of music? Um, kind of folksy alternative rock. Okay. All right. All right. Like, you know, it's like one of those chords that will kind of, like, the idea of this, the guy is supposed to be so good, it's like some of the chords he does, it can almost, you can feel the emotion, and it almost brings you to tears, kind of, that level of things. Whether that was because of latent abilities or whatever, who knows, but, or whether he was just that good, hard to say. Hey, Regalia, can you help me fix this guitar? I have an uh... idea. I suppose. You fix the guitar strings. Mm -hmm. I, I I don't mm -hmm. I, I want to see where this goes, so I am not stopping you on the guitar string front. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There's lots of reaching with uh with 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 things and walking in air. So. All right. So. I'm gonna have to spend another doom here. And by the uh, way, I uh Oh god! Oh, god. Doom in one session? What? He's got by three way, last week. Up... By the way, I did finish up the uh, Doom track last time and I took um, the ability to take other powers. Yep. So I remember. I remember. Mm -hmm. Wait, so your Doom track is already filled or? Last time he took a new Doom sign. So. Okay. No, that was uh, just now when I did the thing. So I took oh, okay. Doom sign. Okay, never mind. I understand now. Either way. Mm -hmm. Tick tock. But, yes, anyway. Uh, so, my plan is to counter his music with my own. No, that maybe we should actually pull someone to do that who actually knows how to play guitar. Well, the person we know here who knows how to... Well, I don't know who... Um, <laughs> Actually, um, no, no, um, okay, I want that to be in character, because I feel like that that is, like... Oh, her pointing this out? Like, like is, like, you know, Blackbird explains it, Artemis says, maybe we should get someone who can actually play because guitar. Because she can play guitar. And, like, Regalia may not know that or something. I just, yeah. I don't know, if people want to make that in character, I think it would be a cool I topic. would like to. Because I think I would okay. like her to actually do something. <laughs> uh, Blackbird looks at the giant guitar that held, like, several people in it. <laughs> oh, if you want to go ahead, you can. Just give me the damn guitar. It's, it's bigger than this room. I know, I know. God powers. <laughs> what do you think you are, Apollo? She literally has super strength. I know, I know, but super strength, yes. Mr. Fantastic Arms to reach the strings. No. <laughs> you, you might still lift the guitar, but, you know. She jumps on top of it. I think that's what uh, she does. You know what? I'm going to say you just got to... If you want to... Okay, so... I'm trying to figure out what... Is, okay. Also, because I, I was also saying, like, you did get saved, but... Our, I, I, what part of the thing was I liked about that was... You're, if, you're stumbling your words, honey. I know I'm stumbling. Okay. The earlier thing was, so, are we keeping the canon of Regal- Do we want to keep this canon that Regalia points out that we don't have Archangel when uh, Artemis implies- It tries to insinuate that maybe someone who knows how to play the guitar should do this. Yeah. Do we want to keep that, Rad? Is, do we want that yeah, as canon? Absolutely. Okay, so that does happen first, so- I don't know if I don't know if Artemis is just well, I'll, ignoring I'll, that. I'll, I'll just finish. I'm like, well, we'll they've taken the person first. that knows how to play guitar. Okay, well, they've taken the person that knows how to play guitar. They took one, actually two, because uh, you guys knocked out 
another one. <laughs> <laughs> He's not knocked out, but actually we do need to worry about... Or is he, is he knocked out, actually? He was no, he's not. Uh, he's he was, he was he's not knocked out, which means we need to worry about him uh, walking into the beam of light soon. Um, <clears throat> I'm, I highly doubt a beam of light's going to hurt him. He's literally light. <laughs> I'm, 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 more, I'm more worried what happens if uh, the beam of light takes over his mind and he starts throwing, uh, I don't know, sunlight blasts at us or something. Solar flare! I shoot him, that's what happens. Actually, I don't shoot him, I turn him into roadkill. Yeah. <laughs> hey. There's one there, thing there, I like there's about the sort of this confounded frustration uh, uh, expression <laughs> on his face that he doesn't do anything with. Why is he so frustrated? <laughs> okay, so this is what I'm picturing the scene now is. There, uh, Blackbird, you are... Le- Levitating the guitar. Mm-hmm. Everyone else is riding the me- the, the strange guitar as <laughs> the uh, doctor's strange guitar. No, it is, doesn't have a PhD. As <laughs> due to some queer kind of like grinding, like like surfing the the, the guitar strings, uh, Artemis pl- tries to play a counter thing as you guys head towards the beam of light. Yeah, is that kind of that works. Is that guy, what you guys are kind of? Sure. Yeah, so I guess I don't spend my doom after uh, all. Okay. That. It'd be nice. Which, you I know, will kill you s- later. If we're possibly getting into conflict here. One, Cutie is going to use her power to make a pair of handcuffs or some other disabling device to disable the unconscious Ember while she tries to figure out who she is. <laughs> And she's also going to look over at her sister and be like, look, things are a little chaotic here. If you're going to stick, but I also need you to make me a promise here. One, of course, stay out of danger. And two, on mom's name, do not tell anyone who I am. Okay? Okay, I won't tell anyone except for Except for Sicily, except for Miriam, except <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, those are the only I'm sorry, I I'm sorry, I'm dying. He just oh, used my niece's names. Yeah, except for I don't think you said Clara. I was that was about to say Leading that. Leading into Clara. Okay. <laughs> just randomizing there, but Yeah, and it's just the name that popped in my head, okay? <laughs> No, I- I'm going to stare her straight in the face and go, no, on mom's name, you aren't allowed to talk with it about anyone. And as long as you keep my secret, I will find a way to make it up to you, okay? Okay. I will have some ideas when you get back. <laughs> I-, I give her a kiss on the forehead and go, also, make sure she stays okay. She hopefully won't be able to hurt you with those cups on her. If something weird happens again. Of, but, of, of, of course, of course, my dear, dear, beloved Broster. Broster? Good <laughs> <laughs> kind of twitches a little bit. We'll talk a little bit more once we're all safe. But okay. I wanted you to know, I will, as long as you keep my secret, I'll make it worth your while, you. I'll right. give her a little head rub. I will just have you, as you should know, making it worth my while will involve a lot of ice cream. <laughs> I, I smile at her and I go, of course it will. All right, then I will help out with this planning of getting the giant rock and roll guitar prepared here. Because I'm trying, like, how far away is this? Um, thing? Yeah, dramatically appropriate distance. Alright. Uh, I'm just curious, because I probably will prop my sister and the unconscious ember in the car, and I will give my sister the very tentative thing of driving it. <laughs> she needs to get out safely. Well, also, yeah, and remember, I, and I figure you're familiar is also staying with them. Yeah. 
because you know. Yeah, I, I'm trying to imagine like depending on the type of situation we're about to go into, if it's one I need to ensure my sister is within range that I can protect her, but also out of range so she's not in the way. Um, judging from the fact that mostly, pretty much everyone here who has been whammied is heading towards it, you feel like it's pretty safe that away from the light. Not, it's more dangerous to bring her along with. All right. That's why I was going to leave her back if I can. But. Yeah, yeah, that's that should be fine. But you give her, you know, you give her the keys to the thing in case she needs to get away. Consider this an upfront payment if, if you are a good girl. She looks at, she kind of grabs the key and looks like, and then she kind of frowns. Nah, it's a stick shift. No, no, she <laughs> frowns. I can't reach the pedals. <sighs> I'll, I'll go over, uh, like, gingerly kind of adjust the pedals. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> donuts! I'll give her a little hit pat. Not really. Okay. The, the donuts thing didn't actually happen. <laughs> I'll be back in a little bit. You sure can... about that? <laughs> I'm sure. Okay. I also don't know if you want me to roll to detain Ember, quote unquote. No, case, no, she's... But... Basically, she's fine. All right. Alright. I know where this could totally backfire at a meta level, but I feel like this is one of those situations you gotta be a good big brother and not drag your little sister into unconscious. No, 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 no. I, I'm on, at, at above board here. I'm, I have no intention of, of capitalizing on that at all right now. I feel like that would just further complicate things and it does not fit the fiction right now. So. Excellent. Well, then I can officially get, in, get involved with preparing to write a guitar into battle. You know what? Okay, so what is the what is your ultimate goal for this guitar song? What are you trying to do? What is the intent? Uh, uh, I think we're like doing the bard counter song. Okay, so you're tr all right. So somebody needs to roll unleash your powers. I don't know who it is anymore. I'll uh, do it. Like Optimus has taken this over. Yeah, because. Wait, who's... Oh, yeah, me? Yeah, I'll roll Unleash My Powers. Uh, uh, if she's being our conductor, even um, if we're each pulling... It's... Plus Freak. Plus Freak, Reaching your powers. <laughs> All right, I will spend some team to help out here. Yep. No, no. I will... it, seem, it seems like the move. We only need to spend one team for this to be a success, right? Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, it right. brings it up to market condition, or I will tell you how the effect is unstable or temporary. Huh? I said. All right, you're at 79, so either it's market condition, or I will tell you how the effect is unstable or temporary. Um, I will mark hopeless, because it's the last thing I have left. What? Wow. No, you don't. You're just taking Wait. all the da damage. Wait, what else do I have? You are, you, you don't have hopeless or insecure marked. Oh, I don't have insecure? Yeah. Okay. I do now. <laughs> then I'll mark insecure. Yeah, you needed Blackbird's help for this. Uh... Yep. Like he, he hit a few sour. Blackbird's help. I'm hopeless. No. <laughs> yeah, like Blackbird kind of like kind of keeps you on. Uh, kind of, but uh... okay, you you start you you're do, kind of you're on it, kind of doing the strumming, but mm -hmm. unfortunately, you can't strum and uh do the finger positioning. So Blackbird starts manifesting, uh, starts doing, like, you see the the bars kind of have the uh, Raven magic style look where they kind of get overlaid with black and they start strumming themselves. Yeah. So you can kind of focus on being in the position to adjust the notes properly. So, okay. Yeah. Just throwing that there for the, how to describe how you are helping. 
It's a yeah, I'm just trying to imagine the size of this guitar if we can all ride on it. Mm -hmm. uh, the, inter the interior of it was like a size of a small cave. So, cave opening. So, that's the scale you're looking at here. So, yes, as you're kind of flying... Oh, this feels like a scene out of a Beatles movie. <laughs> you're flying yeah, on a yeah. magic guitar over to over the brainwashed masses. Like, this is... Sorry. Go ahead, no, That's exactly why I suggested this idea. Just because I was like, oh my god, this is such, like, the perfect music video. <laughs> That's an argument. Okay, so, if we were all in a band, what would everyone play? <laughs> Alright. Uh, speaking of what are you playing, Artemis, what are you playing? Uh, what song am I playing? Like, what... It doesn't have to be the exact song. Like, what style of music are we playing? Um, I think, like, folk. Folk off? So we're having a folk off? Yeah. Folk off. Nah, I would have done heavy metal, but okay. <laughs> She's not a heavy metal person. <laughs> yeah, Blackbird's just like, oh, this is the music we're going with? All right. <laughs> Yeah, so it's just like, yeah. So I feel like the the music that uh, that's being produced from the stage. You as you get closer, you actually see there's a small stage that the beam of light is going on. And as you get closer, you realize it's looking more and more like a spotlight mm -hmm. than a like a destructive beam mm -hmm. of energy. Yeah. But the music you kind of do is kind of this. Um, what tone of music are you trying to make? Here. Softer. I mean, emotional tone. Like. I don't know. What's the feeling? Like, I'm just trying to get, I'm just trying to get a, you, you can just say whatever you want to say. Like. Sad. Okay. Yeah, you're creating kind of this melon, you are playing this melancholy beat. You know. Because it's like you have some kind of sort of, it's like you have some sort of source of angst in your life, in your, in your life, mm -hmm. and your only release is music. Whereas the music coming there is kind of more of a, uh, like a lively, it's kind of like a lively, energizing kind of thing, and the kind of the musics are kind of crashing, and the, the crowds are kind of like, they're kind of like confused and just, uh, kind of just like, uh, 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 uh. So, you, so you kind of basically have the crowds kind of sedated, including what you, you see a little glowing spot down there that's clearly Apollo. <laughs> He's also looking confused. Yes. As you kind of, but as you get closer, you see in the silhouette of you, you start seeing a silhouette of who's on stage. Uh -huh. It's Archangel. Yeah. What do you guys do? Uh, who? Uh, let's see, she's still playing music, right? She's playing music right now as you guys are approaching on your flying magic guitar. Right. Um, ah, yes, the flying magic guitar. Justice. It's a natural part of the superhero <laughs> show. <laughs> uh, I'm tempted to just throw the guitar at her. Go El Cabong? Mm hmm. Yep, yeah, just. I mean, we're all riding on it, so maybe we should be prepared to jump off if that's what we're doing. Oh, speaking uh, of, you're all riding it together and being prepared. When you enter a battle against a dangerous foe as a team, this move that I never, I don't, never really do. Add two teams to the pool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, basically. If that's what you're doing, you're definitely entering battle in some form or another. All right, who's the leader? That's kind of a good question. Uh, that's a really well, good question. Uh, I would argue it's Artemis because she is the one leading uh, the band at the moment. Mm -hmm. She's the one who actually knows how to play the instrument. Yeah. So. All right, Artemis it is. Woo! All right, does Artemis have influence over everyone? 
Um, I believe she does, at least with me. No. All right. I think? All right, no, no extra team for you there. I have definitely, uh, definitely removed that at some point, so. Yeah. All right. Does everyone have the What is everyone's purpose in this fight? Uh, you know, just to kind of end this crazy uh, nightmare. All right. Yeah, I, I imagine that is Cutie's intent because she wants to get her yeah. sister and girlfriend back to safety. And 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 the psychic event. Mm-hmm. Yep. So the one person I want to ask a question, Artemis, is your purpose right now to end the event, or is your purpose to save Archangel? Um, to save Archangel. Okay. I feel like that's. That is my purpose. Yeah. yeah so you are not all the same purpose because. Artemis still doesn't want to. I mean, that's that's along that's along the way of the purpose, but but it's not I, the main thing. Yeah, it, it, it is. I feel in this situation, it is an important distinction to make because, mm. so, like, like if you had the best way to end this quickly, that could be take out a uh, you know a, a attack Archangel, and that's something Artemis would not want to do. So no, that makes sense. All right. What what area in the center is it like? Like, are we getting closer to a specific You're getting kind close of to area? A, a stage with basically an audience that is the the confused masses around it. Okay. So that's what you're basically. You're it's a it's a round stage with a giant, uh, mind whammy mosh pit. Okay. Mm. Mm. All right. Does anyone mistrust Artemis? Galia. Yeah, a little bit. All right. Yeah, I was, I'm going to say she's kind of letting her emotions get the best of her. All right. Move one key to the pool. Um, do you guys think you are ill-prepared or off-balance? I actually don't think we're ill-prepared or off-balance. Everyone is ready for the fight as we get going. All right. You know? All we're right. all like, we're going here. The plan is succeeding. Let's do it. All right. So, Blackbird, you said you wanted to give you wanted to be the opening act for this musical number? Yeah. All right, what do you do? Uh, what do you... Like I said, I'm going to actually throw the guitar like uh, towards uh, Artemis. Mm-hmm. Towards Artemis? That's impressive. Uh, that's what you mean? Uh, Ar- Archangel, sorry. <laughs> two, <laughs> two, two, two names. I was going to say, okay. am I supposed to catch it? Towards mm-hmm. Artemis, the, the short range attack then. Yeah. <laughs> so do you give everyone a fair warning before ju- t- before you do it? Uh, yeah, I say, uh, everyone hold on. <laughs> I, I was thinking more like, everyone, stop! this is your stop. <laughs> well, all right, roll to directly engage a threat. Who's rolling this? Blackbird. Oh, okay. Uh, seven. All right. On a hit, you trade blows. Uh... Choose one. Does this avoid their blows? Take something from them? Create an opportunity for your allies? Or impress surprise or frighten the opposition? Uh, I think this is a suppress surprise or uh, impress. All right. So, all right. So, yeah. So, I mean, you, you, you're making a big splash here. So, mm-hmm. so uh, as you kind of wind up and swing the massive guitar at them, like, the rest of the group kind of jumps off at the last moment, kind of, you know, each one kind of forming a side of the, kind of, each one, you know, so you surround the edge of the stage as the big kabong. It's just like this magic, this, you've got these dueling uh, guitar, folk guitars, it's like dueling banjo with less banjo. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then suddenly it just ends, all of a sudden it just all ends with a gong. And she kind of, and she just kind of and then down, and you kind of just breathe a sigh as you're like, as, I imagine you were never a fan of that style of music. No. Oh, thank God. This is as so awesome. you, you, however, I am going to say um, what, uh, as you kind of, um, however, then you start seeing glowing things, kind of that kind of start rushing out out of this. That you see, purple lights are glowing through the debris as. Just trying to picture, trying to picture this how how this would look. 
As I, I, I'm like two steps removed on the mental state here, so it's like a little weird scenario. Okay, yeah, yeah. The double up on those ones was I. So as you just see this giant. Okay, uh, pause, pause moment here. What happened to the mother? Uh, that is a good question. Very good. Uh, you, 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 you had successfully, uh, cowed her? Yeah. Uh, and you had it said that there might have been a plan, so it's entirely possible we brought her along. Okay. But... Okay, I, what I picture here is, uh, Blackbird's just kind of levitating her along after he threw the, uh, the guitar. Yeah. Yeah, I imagine Blackbird just kind of has, like, a, uh, kind of, a. Uh, like uh, dark, uh, kind of shadowy uh, blackbird, just holding her leg. Mm -hmm. I also imagine, like, if we had tried to leave her behind with, like, my sister and uh, Ember, that she would have completely been like, "No, I need to find my son," or whatever. No, no. I mean, if you left her behind, she was cowed at the point, so she would follow your plan. So I just wanted to. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So, yeah. So, but yeah. So. As a, it's an explosion and a giant. Sorry, I'm just just trying to be creative here for a moment, and I'm having a bad bad side of that. Something giant does emerge from it. Uh, giant fist. No, no, oh, it's. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I'm made, trying not made, to made out of made out of made out of uh, the bass cellos and. <laughs> Made out of bass cellos and drum kits and get, and banjos. You know what? Uh, let, let, let's go Ready Player One on this, and it's the Iron Giant. A a a purple version of the Iron Giant. <laughs> no, you could just say like a giant mech. No, no, no. Uh, this is the I this this is I am trying to be deliberate here. Okay. Like I am making this up, but I am making this up with intent. It wasn't just. I didn't want to say giant mech because that was my first instinct. I just wanted to imply some other stuff. So, okay. as it just kind of, uh, as it kind of just kind of things and just suddenly uh, punches out Blackbird. Uh, you kind of like you 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 kind of spin to the air, catch yourself, kind of like it's not like take a powerful blow, but so you go look over to the mother. Where is she? You look down. She's right now moshing. Unintentional. Un un I was going to say, is that unintentionally? And uh, you are marking guilty. Okay. The giant mech kind of turns towards uh, Inferno and it's about ready to start bearing down. You see the silhouette. You kind of, It's a little translucent a bit, so you can kind of see the silhouette of Archangel in the middle of it. Inferno, what do you do? Um. Yeah, yeah, run over. Yeah, yeah, towards it. Um. Yeah. And and stop it. Yeah, just be. <laughs> yeah, just before it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you so you run up and you stop stop right in front of it. What do you do? Um. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah, exude more of the yeah, flames outside of my body, so the, so it's more like my, yeah, form is, yeah, fire is more of a defensive, yeah, the type to not be touched, but not trying to fight since it's my sister. Okay. So you're basically kind of going out there, just climbing up, and you're trying to make it so that, are you, so are you trying, are you just, Keeping yourself safe, or are you? Like, I'm just... Uh, yes, yes, yeah. Standing directly, okay. In a, in a path, so so she have to go through me. Okay. All right, all right. So you you are actually go ahead and roll a plus save here because you're trying to defend someone. Sorry, I'm just trying. I was trying to get the idea of what move yeah. this is, kind of thing would. Uh. 
Seven. All right. I hit you. You keep. You keep. Basically, you keep everyone safe, but you either escalate the situation or uh, expose yourself to danger. Also, you can choose to either add a team to the pool, take the influence over someone you protect, or clear a condition. I'll add a team to the pool because I'm pretty sure I already have influence over our fate, Joshua. Mm-hmm. Well, to be fair, you're also protecting everyone around you, yeah. too. So. As, you know, the rest of the group. So you're kind of just kind of. So are you going to try to escalate the situation or are you going to expose yourself to danger? Um, Expose myself to danger. Yeah, so you're kind of like flaming up and just like. The, the giant kind of looks at you for a moment and just kind of, the form just kind of discombobulates and then kind of recombines. It's now Mr. Freeze. Oh, man. So much copyright. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, it's Dr. S- Solidify. Hey, oh. Dr. Icicles. Anyways, uh, but it's kind of just points this thing and just kind of like this kind of much like you're in your battle with um, Fenrir. Like th- this ice is like intensely like mm-hmm. you're kind of like blown back and kind of like kind of locked in a little bit there and just like it, you have it's actually enough like while it's sustained on you, you are being frozen in place. Mm-hmm. Artemis. Yes. You see Inferno being fro- locked down by a giant bulk guy in a suit? What? Huh? It, it, it changed to a construct of uh, like what looks like basically it's in, in the universe you have no idea what this looks like, but okay. out of the universe, it, it's Mr. Freeze. Okay. Like, like, what I'm saying is, in this universe, DC and Marvel comics exist in this universe. Okay. Mm. But I don't picture Artemis being a really iconic book nerd. No. So. If she is, she's privy to Marvel and strictly just like Thor. The Thor comics. Also, um, in addition, there is a uh, Mrs. Starling is is yelling for help in the midst of a of a crowd of confused concert goers that are mm-hmm. unintentionally moshing to this uh, fight scene. Yes. What do you do? Um, I'm going to shoot at Mr. Freeze mm-hmm. with my... Now, um, because I imagine that much like, you know, kind of like how Hawkeye does, I do have multiple different types of arrows. Well, I figure you, you're a god, you can probably enchant your arrows. Like, if I you shoot an arrow that springs up into a tree. Yeah, I think I'm enchanting one to, um have fire attached to it because fire does typically melt ice. Mm-hmm. So how is it resonant with you being Artemis? So that like I'm just trying to build up the floor and everything on this, so um just through using like elements, stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Nature. Stuff like that. Okay. Alright, go ahead, roll to directly engage a threat. Roll plus danger. Ah. Uh. Dangerous selfies. Hi. Thanks. Anyone want to spend team before I announce what happens? Um, um, what was she rolling for exactly? Directly engage the threat. She was shooting a flaming arrow at the ice giant. Okay, and what did she get? Six. I got a six. Mm. Mm. I-, I guess if it is a actual thing, we're not trying to. We don't have to worry about injuring. I guess Cutie can contribute a team if we are, I mean, don't mind. You guys are heroes. Team. Like typically. Heroes don't fight things to the point where they die. Yeah. Yeah. You just you just beat them up. You just cold clock them. 
Yeah. <laughs> this, is a, this is not a living thing we're do, dealing with. So. Yeah. That's a, uh, yeah. Car, constru- construct flip. That's completely a situation. It's okay for, say, our fire hero to go ablazing. Uh, uh, I kind of figured he freezing. was frozen, so... Ah, oh, you were frozen today? Yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you for making the line I was about to say. <laughs> yes, uh, no, uh, this is why Artemis is firing the fiery arrow, is to try to draw it off uh, Inferno. Well, yes, if, if Inferno is currently disabled. Inferno is currently disabled. Dang Clefairies. <laughs> hmm. You said you're injured, so crap. We kind of have to, I guess. Well, you're, you said you're helping Artemis with the, this. Is, she's in the middle of a, resolving a move, so she was asking if you could help. So, yes. All right. You know what? Okay, I want a clarification. This monster, this construct is technically not controlled by anyone we know of, question mark? It's being manifested by Archangel, who is under the control of feedback. It's a... Oh, I want to throw it's an illusion, you, essentially. You, you, keep say, you keep saying the superhero villain name without technically even introducing it to us. I know, but it's just easier than trying to... I had such a hard time saying their musical act thing, because I feel like I'm always saying it wrong. Trabador. Yeah, Trabador. Trabador. Trabador, like trouble. Alright. If it looks like Arch- it's Archangel who's helping control this monster for a moment, I want to distract her. She's in the middle of it. By tossing, by conjuring a tambourine to smack her in the face. She's inside (laughs) the construct. She's in, like, the heart of it. Oh, yeah. She's manifesting around herself, yeah. Yeah, because that's the reason I'm using fire, because the, I'm just trying to melt it. Fire will not kill it. Fire will melt the ice. (laughs) True. Yes. (sighs) Darn it! I was gonna throw. I was. Just, I'm just trying to think of a role play reason to invoke a team here. So, like, it, how do you make it easier for the? How do you help this arrow strike true? Yeah. Uh, if you don't have anything, I could spend my team and. Yeah, if you got a better thing, I have no problem in this situation. Yeah. All right, Blackbird's just going to enchant the arrow with uh, demonic magic, making it kind of like a uh, make it form to a blackbird. You now <laughs> pelt it with a fiery bird arrow. Mm-hmm. That's wow. That's wow. So wow, such wow. But it strikes true. So all right, seventeen. All right, you can choose one from the list, love. Okay. Does this avoid their blows? Take something from them, create an opportunity for your allies, or impress, surprise, or brighten the opposition. Um, resist or avoid their blows. Okay. I, I was gonna say I thought you were going to take something away from them. That is uh, our teammate who's being captured. Oh wait, yeah, let's change that. Let's take that away from them. Okay. Keep that in mind. That'll mean you'll get hit backward probably from this. So I know, fine. but I can always just mark potential then. Yeah. Well. <laughs> I might be able to mark potential with all my horrible rolls tonight. Well, maybe this might be a good time for your rolls, because you're probably going to end up taking a powerful blow. Yeah. What so, should I roll? Right, let me describe this thing here. So, so you hit, kind of hit the arrow in just the right spot, and it kind of ruptures it. You hit it in the cryo tank on the back, which ruptures, expelling, uh, mm-hmm. uh, expelling uh, the um, Archangel. Archangel. Thank you. And over the full force of that blast also strikes you as well. Go ahead and roll to take a powerful blow. Roll plus conditions marked. How do I do that? Just roll, just do a flat roll and roll, just roll 2d6 and then add 4. Oh, I only have, oh yeah, I do have 4 conditions marked. Yep. Okay. Mm. Oh, 
14. Well, thankfully it caps out at 10, so... <laughs> Alright, choose one. You must remove yourself from the situation, flee, pass out, etc. You lose control of yourself or your powers in a terrible way. Or two options from the 7 to 9 list. Um... Lose control of my powers in a terrible way. So I'm going to make a suggestion for you. Uh-huh. You're pissed. And you are... You're, 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 you're basically a bundle of raw emotion right now. Yeah, yeah. So maybe, what I'm thinking is, maybe you go full god complex for the moment. Oh, no. <laughs> Does that sound like... Okay, that sounds good. <laughs> They're going to hate me more! Yay! Yeah! So what conflict! Do you, so what do you do? What what is because you have to do it now. You have, you you're, beyond just that. You have to do something now with that. Cause like you can't just say that. Oh, that's what you're doing from now on. No, this, this you do something with that full. I know. Point. I'm trying to think of what exactly I could do. Mm -hmm. May I make a? I could make a small suggestion at least. Oh, yes. God. Okay. So as you blast, uh, Archangel free, like the robot just crashes behind you, and you're like very sleekly avoid it, and there's just this surge of pride, and all of a sudden you start trying to rile the crowd up, just going like, how awesome I am, and stuff like that. Uh, that's not really losing your control of your powers. Yeah, I don't uh, know about that one. Th my, like, my suggestion was, you, in rage and everything, and you, you're just like... Maybe, like, I'm not caring if I hit her. That might be more... Well, I was gonna, like, well, I was gonna say... You what know, were you thinking? There is right now a mosh pit that is getting in the way of what you need to I'm get I'm not done. caring about them. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, specifically, you're pulling one of your favorite little moves with your god side. Smooth. Transfiguration. Oh, God. <laughs> Roadkill everywhere! There's suddenly, there's just, <laughs> Artemis just kind of glows and just like, enough! As there's this wave of rage kind of thing. It doesn't hit any of her. What about Apollo? Okay. You know, <laughs> no, you, there is one golden stag in the middle of that. <laughs> it, it hit him too. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess if you're going to ask. Right. Like I kind people, of assume that, it, that, the, that the aim is just down and none of us are below her at the moment. None of you are below me. Flying. But no, because also. Because I think a lot of it was even just. The distraction of the noise, and it's just like, you know what? No, no, I'm not dealing with it. <laughs> like, I am a god, I am not going to deal with these people. And thus, uh, rabbits. And one stag. They want to be sheep, <laughs> but they can be sheep. Rabbits? <laughs> rabbits don't really make noise. Why can't we have just some stags everywhere? I figured they get tangled up with all the antlers suddenly. <laughs> <laughs> also, some of them want to be stags. It would be dope. Okay. I would like to uh, protect an NPC here. <laughs> what NPC? The mother. All right, go ahead. Roll to defend. All right. <laughs> you, 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 you're familiar with this maneuver. You've seen that you've been the victim of this maneuver. <laughs> Okay, I could be making them all vomit, but I'm not. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Like she could, she could, she could have created a plague. I'm like, are we gonna, are we gonna plague the crowd? Is that where this yeah, is I going? Could, I mm. could plague Regalia next. Tabitha. If he keeps pissing me off. Oh god. What'd you say? Uh, a six. Do you want to spend uh, the team team selfishly? Yes, I think I will. Uh, assuming that you don't want, you're not rolling a plus three already. Um, no, not for my savior. Uh. All right. So, what do you shift up and what do you shift down? Because you basically get to shift your stats right now. So, I think you're going to be shifting your savior up. But what are you shifting down? And also explain how your action insults or what the what is how is it? With the actual phrasing on it. This hasn't really come up before, so. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. We're, we got to dig out all the real... Ex how your actions ignore or insult your teammates. Alright, so I'm going to shift uh, Savior up and Danger down, I think, because, uh, you know, I feel bad for leading this person in danger, so... And, uh... Ooh. Alright. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna curse, like, uh, the god, like, uh, or, or Mrs. fucking pride here. Oh, boy! <laughs> oh! Can you curse the gods? No, like, as in, like, verbally. Oh, I was thinking literally! You're gonna get hit with a lightning bolt. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens happened. when you curse the gods. You get hit with a lightning bolt. All right, and I, basically, like, I'm just going to say uh, Archangel is now unconscious, because I feel like this is a much more interesting scene here. And that's the last mm -hmm. panel is just this full god complex Artemis facing down Blackbird. And this is his last panel of uh, what will happen next. End the session. Mm -hmm. All right. Let's start off with our, uh, our, let's, ha let's start off with our resident god here. Uh, did you grow closer to the team, away from the team, or in the image of yourself? Well, I was growing closer to the team. I was. Until the end. Well, to be fair, the end is you losing control. Yeah. So, you, you, you yeah. can, you choose, this is you as the, you know, you can take a meta step back and say, like, Okay, ignoring that little bit. For more of most of it, I'm actually gonna say I feel closer to the team. Right. Who made you feel welcome and why? Um, Blackbird, because okay. typically when I was fighting and when I was having trouble, he was the one helping. Okay. And in a way, he's still doing that. Just... He's still doing that. He is honestly, when my brain gets screwed back on, uh, on I'm probably gonna end up thanking him for this. Yep. <laughs> so Blackbird gains influence over you, and you may. Mark potential or a clear condition. Clear a condition. I'm gonna clear uh guilty. Oh dear. I mean it's a little late now and I'm not I'm perfectly okay with that, but we forgot you were afraid, so you should have taken a minus two to that directly engage a threat. Oh. Oh well, too late. Too late. Hmm. Kitty Carbuncle, did you go close to the team, away from the team, or into your image of yourself? I'm honestly not sure. This feels like one of those... We finally, I guess, got reunited, so I guess closer to the team. But... I mean, you... Tabitha, what are you trying to get out of there? I don't know. Tabby, come here, baby. She's being a cat. I'll take care of the trash after we're done with Sasha. Yeah. Was that trash in there? I thought it was a clothes bag. No, that was trash. Okay. okay. Anyway, uh, we'll worry about that afterwards. Uh, you can also, you know, if you don't feel unsure, you can always go with the classic image of myself, because you know, you yeah, kind of define true. Your... Image of myself also works. I'm just, yeah. It might be just that, just to make things simple. But those... All right, shift one label up and one label down. Okie dokie. Uh... Like, the problem is all my stats are getting pretty... You know what? I think this is a situation where I need to shift my mundane down and superior up. Because I was trying to t convince my sister to keep my secret and try to impose my role as both the big brother and apparently also her idol to get her to do what I want. All right. All right, Inferno. You know the question. Um... 
Sorry, actually, I'm going to shift my freak down, not mundane. Okay. I'm going to shift my labels. Okay. Image of yourself? Yeah. But now you see yourself in Y. Did anyone beat you today? I think I'm actually gonna shift my mundane down. And I don't I know. I didn't feed her this morning, so Dad, right, Dad anyways. usually doesn't. My if I mundane don't. down and my savior up. Okay. No. Feeling kind of more of the hero right now. Yeah. yeah. All right. Regalia. Hi. Um. E. Um, he, uh, did one role with the, with helping out Inferno, but that's about it. Um, I guess there was some talking, but there's a lot of, but I don't know if that's really much of anything. Um, so I might just bank it here. Okay. And Blackbird. Ah, uh, poof. That's a good question. Um, I'm actually thinking maybe away from the team. Um, All right. Yeah, Artemis is a hot head in this um, kind of, uh, you know, put a dower on the, the team here. Mm -hmm. So uh, you are uh, moving influence from Artemis then? Mm hmm. All right. All right, that out of the way. As always, you can join our Discord. The link down in the description to chat with us or uh, discuss the channel or channel adjacent topics or what else you want to. Like, what kind of folk music are you? Like an internet test. That's the best I could think of. You can also uh, follow us on Twitter to be notified uh, uh, when when we go live. Ugh. I am out of it. Okay. Follow us on Twitter at Tales Across to be notified when the to get updates and be notified when the channel goes live. Character art is done by a friend of the show, Carl. Links below to his DeviantArt and Coffee account. Finally, like and subscribe and follow to help us reach a wider audience and again be get both future content. So to those watching us in the past, present, and future. I mean, it's not a god complex if you're an actually a god. <laughs> and good night.